Hey everyone, it's Laura, and it's time for another craft kit. I was hoping we wouldn't be still doing kits, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, and here we are. So, if you signed up for this craft, then I have a kit set aside for you with your name on it that has beads that have your initials or your name or whatever else you specified when you signed up. If you didn't sign up, you don't have letter beads. You have color beads, and if you want letter beads, Swing by the desk in the children's room and ask, and we will get you whatever letters you want. Now, when I was in school, the way we did this was by opening up the pin and putting on whatever beads we liked. So that's what I'm doing here. I think there's a very obvious downside to this. There's several, actually. One is if you ever open this pin again, it will pour out whatever beads are on it onto the ground. The other is the thing that is going to go into the fabric is the thing that is filled with beads. So you can't actually use this as a pin anymore if you do it this way. There's a quickie way around that. Um, two ways for you to do. Um, first off, you need a glue like the E6000 that you've gotten in other kits. You're going to use that to glue it closed. And then the other way to to cope with not being able to pin this on anything is by sewing it onto something. It's very easy to do. It's the same technique you would use just to really quickly like sew a button on or something. Very simple. So I'm gluing this shut with E6000. It takes about an hour to set and 24 hours to completely dry. So if you do this version without bending your pin in any way, make sure you set aside time to let that dry before you move on to the next step. <clears throat> I'm just going to sew it onto a bit of felt for you today. So I'm not giving it time to dry because I'm a rebel like that. You're going to sew through the hole right there at the very bottom of your pin or the side of your pin. And you're going to want to knot your thread and then just go in and out and in and out. Um, and then you're going to do that to the other side as well. And because this is glued and because it's sewn on, nothing should fall apart. Sew it on your backpack, your coat, whatever you feel like. It's very easy. The other method, if you want a removable pin, will require some pliers. I'm using round nose pliers. Those are available in the jewelry section, the jewelry craft section, I should say, at Walmart. So swing by Walmart, grab some of these. You can get away with opening it up with a flat nose plier, but you'll never be able to close it unless you've got a round nose plier. So you're going to untwist your pin, completely untwist it, and open it up. Try and flatten it as much as you can because it will make your life easier. Then when you thread the beads on, it's going to go onto the part of the bar that you're not using to attach it to the, your clothes. So you can um, put as many beads on there as you want. When you use your pliers again on it to close the safety pin, you will never have any of the beads fall off. So I'm just grabbing colors at random. And if you're going to use your round nose pliers, it's going to pretty much be, you're going to need to start using them where that kink in your wire is. You'll know. It's a little part of the wire that seems like it's not perfectly straight anymore. That is where your curve used to be. So you're going to want to use your pliers to fold your wire and then continue that curve with the other side of your wire so you've wrapped completely around in a circle. You can use two pairs of pliers to do this but I just use my hand because I find it just as easy. So you've created a coil and then you can close that up again. I'm using my pliers to squish it a little bit, make sure it lines up a little bit easier and the first time you do this will feel a little bit awkward, but then once you've done it, it gets really easy. And nothing's going to fall off of that. And you got it.